Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. On this video guys, I'm going to show you how you fully set up the Yuzu Switch emulator for your PC. And for this tutorial guys, we're going to need, first of all, a controller. Now we have here three variations you can use and I'm going to give you my own opinion on it. So the first of the best choice is literally the, it's the, it's the Switch Pro controller because you're going to have all the features in it. The second choice I would go for PlayStation 4 controller guys. There we go, focused because it has the same functions as the Switch Pro controller and the least I would go for is the Xbox One controller because it doesn't have motion control so if you interested in motion control then you go for then you, you then you obviously should go for the uh, Pro controller or the PS4 controller but if you don't not, not interested in the Switch in the motion controls then go for the Xbox One and uh, in this tutorial guys we're gonna go uh, Lotus wirelessly, I'm not going to use cable, but if you want to use cable, uh, go ahead and do that. It works the same way. Without anything further, guys, before we go into my desktop, uh, like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, guys, and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want it, if you like my content and want to see more of it. And uh, with further ado, guys, happy Halloween. See you on my desktop. All right, guys, as we have my desktop right now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get the user switch emulator. So head to your web browser. I'm already here. You're gonna get to this website here, guys. I'm gonna leave a link to the, in the description below. You click on download and you go for download for Windows X64. Um, download whatever you want to. I go for downloads, save. And it's already complete. Um, with that all said, guys, be heading out from my website and we're going to the download as from my browser, downloads. Double click it, you can close that, get it right here, install, it's going to take some time, but not too long, it's only 76 megabytes, and it depends on your intent, um, speed, you see, so now exit and launch Yuzu, now it will, it will tell you the variation components missing, and that's, you just click on OK, um, those that's what he means with missing is you need the product key and you need the firmware now those things i can unfortunately not provide you with those are those i'm going to show you those things product keys and title keys and then like the firmware or the, for your switch you need that so on those guys i cannot provide you with uh, because yeah you know why obviously but i can tell you one thing right twink twink um Google is your best friends. Anyways, uh, here it's going to tell you anonymous data is collected to help improve users what you like to uh, use data to use. So if they want to ask you if you want to share, I'd say no, it's up to you. So after that, guys, let's say you have the product keys, right? And you have the firmware. So the first thing you need to do, guys, is go to file, open user folder, go into keys, yeah, leave it as is. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways. Um, keys, uh, you go to your product keys, open it, check it that, take those two, I, I do copy it, copy them because you never know what happens, copy them and paste them inside and once again, and then close it and close this one too and uh, yeah, once again, we're going to use it and use the folder now. So we got the keys inside, right? file open user folder and uh, keys you see this is like that now the second thing is guys we're going to stay close this so you go again now we need to put the firmware inside you go to file open user folder and you go to nand where is this nand here you go to nand you go to system you go to contents and you just you go to registry so you put this somewhere here and the open firmware. Now what people do wrong, they actually take the whole firmware folder and put it in, it's not gonna work. So what you need to do is to take everything, mark the whole firmware, like data that you got, the files. So, just like me, all the way. There you go. Copy them and pa paste them in, just like that. And yeah, the hardest part is already done. So what we need to do now, I'm gonna use my Switch Pro Controller 
to actually um, play the... No, no, okay, actually, yeah. But anyways, now after we put in the product keys and put the firmware keys, the firmware inside the use emulator, we don't double click here. And we want our games to show up, right? So it's double click here, add the new folder, the games list. So we go in, wherever you put your games, I put mine in D gaming. I go to D drive, wherever you put them, ROM games, you see. You can you select that just a folder and select. It's so automatically, voila, shows your games. And this is the game I play uh, at the moment. So we've done this. Let's say you have a DLC and yeah, let's say you have DLC or updates, right, for a specific game. I'm going to go for, let's see, um, what did I update it? I think we're going to go for new Pokemon, new Pokemon Snap, right? I don't have it actually, hold up. I think <laughs> I think I put, I, I removed every update thingy. But anyways, it's easy to do, guys. What you need to do in case you have, I don't have them right now because I update and delete them at the same time. So you go to File, guys, Insta Files, Net. And then like, uh, wherever your update file is, you, put, you, you take it, you click on it and then OK and it will install. It's easy, it's, it's just here. You just go to files guys, install files and net, and you, wherever you put your update file, you press on it and it's OK and it's going, you're going to see it's going to show update here at the side. Uh, so with this other way guys now we can go to the controller Con to, to set up your controller guys first of all we need to pair it to our pc so you go to here click on this here then go to global controller guys it's literally it's this little button press on it let's see if it's gonna find it there we go click on it and it's connected so with this other way guys, we have now connected our Pro Control to our Bloaters. If you have Bloaters on your PC, uh, it's gonna work. And if you don't have Bloaters, use cable. So after you connect it to your controller, Switch Pro Controller or Xbox One or PS PS4 controller to your PC, um, go to emulation, controls here, always choose Pro Controller, don't go for anything else. And then go for keyboard here, input device, and you see here Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. And now as I move my Pro Control, my like yeah, my Pro Controller, everything gonna work the same. And it's it's per and you see, motion control works as well. This is this little four little triangle thingy. But this is why I'm telling you, if you're done with all that, you can even put the profile here. Uh, you need to use new, and you put your profile name, emu, uh, boom, save it. And then like just OK. And you got your profile thing. And now you even can control uh, with the controller what game you want to play. And uh, let's see. Was there anything? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. There's one more thing after we graphics. Leave everything as it is. Don't play with any settings. It's perfectly fine. Uh, just go to graphics and uh, I keep Vulkan, API Vulkan is the best as far as I know for NVIDIA and uh, and the other graphic, the, the Radon, Radeon, I think, graphic cards. So it's Vulkan uh, performs the best. I have a GeForce uh, RTX 2070 Super. And here, guys, you can upscale. So for me, I think the best is literally uh, 720p and 1080. But if you have like a better PC, I go for 1440p to 200 to 2160p so this works for me every game works smoothly the only game that's not work smoothly is uh, luigi's mansion 3 with all with that said guys just click ok and we're good to go um in case let's see and this setting that i did right now applies for every game but in case one game works not good not not as good as the other one guys just right click go to prop pro properties Go to graphics and what I always do, I set the graphics settings separately for the game. So all the games you're going to play in 1440p uh, undocked and 21, I think 30p uh, docked, you can change it, handheld, it's going to be a little lower resolution and docked is going to be a high resolution. So this is the one thing as far as the way. So this game always going to play now in 720p undocked. 
and docked at 1080p. And with that all said, guys, everything done. We just can start the game. I'm gonna go, of course. We're gonna go for uh, Super Mario Wonders, and it works like a charm. If I'm recording, I think it's this should perform good. Okay, it performs. Yeah, it performs actually good. And I double click, go for a game. You can and I played with my sister and my brother yesterday. Uh, we played all three together. It works just fine. And if you want me to do a tutorial how to play like multiplayer, uh, you let me know. I always go for Luigi because he's he's the he's the he's he's, he's a good boy. I don't like Toad Peach ass. That's that's a fact. There you go. Welcome to Flower Town. In the beginning, guys, we're gonna get some shaders, building shaders. You can see it down there, here. So, so when it stutters, it's because it's building shaders. There we go. But after you're building the shaders, guys, after you're building the shaders, you see, it's gonna work baby smooth. And I think if you if you want if you don't want to deal with it, you can get uh, the shaders compiled. Someone that did already that, but I always recommend to build your shaders yourself. It's uh, a no-brainer. And with this all said, guys, you know what? That was it. If there's something, if there's something I didn't, I missed to show you in this tutorial, you let me know. And once more, one, one more time, the keys and the 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 firmware, guys, unfortunate. But I told, I tell you, I, I I didn't have them either, and I just typed literally what I wanted and. Uh, Easier than like it to take a lollipop from a little kid. That's what's up. With this all said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, Barrels. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. Hey, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.